everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite Delta girl, Daisy on the wall in the building. Um, don't mind the noise in the background. No, I live close to the road, so that's why you can hear some, you know, small, small noise. Um, on this video, I'm going to be vlogging a day in my life as a student of Ebony State University. Um, so, I just finished fetching water because in this side of Ebony State, which is the student environment, we don't get water that much. So, whenever there is light, we go downstairs sometimes and fetch water. But during the rainy season, we get water very well. So, I just need fetching water. Um, my room is very scattered. I'm going to show you guys. Um, th that's my ring light over there. This is where I read. It's very scattered, so I would clean. I will have to clean the room. So I'm done with cleaning the room. Um, let me show you guys. Look at the transformation. I'm about to go to school. Well, I love this outfit. This outfit is just simple chiffon top and Asian trousers. Let me turn around so you guys can see it very well. And I feel like wearing my wig. I've already, I've already, you know, combed the wig and everything. I just, you know, feel like wearing it to school. I normally go on low cost, but I just don't know. I, I, I just want to look very beautiful. I'm a beautiful girl. I'm a fine girl. I'm a fine girl. I just want to look more beautiful. So that's why I'm wearing this wig. So I'll look different. <sighs> I've not even worn it very well. And it's already looking. So let me push it back to the side. Oh, I didn't shave very well. It's already given. It's given. Somebody son come and pay my red price. <laughs> so let's go to school. I decided to film my environment while going to school so you all can see how my school looks like. It is so far from where I live just because we don't have and hostel like a school hostel well that is the entrance of my school life in school is very stressful like you wake up in the morning take your bath you know try to get a bus or an ukada that will take you to school and then when you get to school you still have to trek to your own department so i decided to show you all the distance between the bus stop and the department this is the love garden where students get to sit down and you know talk with their friends hang around you know play some love 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 don't mind me you know where students get to just sit around when you don't have lecture this is my department where i come for lecture you can see how mm -mm -mm, i don't want to say it The journey to school can be so tiring and some people just end up sleeping. 
i didn't want to make this video all about myself so i decided to interview some of my classmates to talk about the struggles they go through in school and how school has impacted their lives My name is Ezen Nami Soma Precious. I'm a 300 level student of Ebony State University. My name is uh, Comrade Wafo and you know, aka Solid. Um, I'm a student of uh, History and International Relations at Ebony State University. Uh, I'm a 300 level. My name is Chinazo Akwebun. Um, I am a student of Ebony State University, Abakli Key, and I am a 300 level. My name is Njoku Chikunoso, I'm a student of EPSU, Ebony State University, and I'm in 300 level. My name is Mayako Felix Oka, I'm a student of Ebony State University, EPSU, I'm in 300 level. My name is Ali Elijah Nanda, I'm in 300 level in Ebony State University. My name is Princess Mirako Eze, I'm in 300 level, I'm schooling at Ebony State University. What I like about Ebony State, first of all, is my state. So, yes, definitely, I like the school. Um, I feel people that don't like the school should go to their own states and judge. But for me, I like the school because it's my state, first of all. And second, um, I like the way they teach their students and the way everything is just organized to get. All schools are stressful, so has Ebony State University. But then, the stress is not that much, I know. So, that's it. Oh, that's a very nice question. Absolutely. FC is a very uh, unique school, uh, filled up with uh, so many characters. I like FC because people joke a lot, even th when things are not in order. They try to put uh, them in order. They try to maneuver by all means. I think uh, FC is one of the schools that uh, you can see people uh, doing well, irrespective of the, uh, the environment. As much as many of us don't like to believe, but when we come out into the world, we've heard nice things about our university. It's like other people outside of the school have said good things about the university. And personally, what I like about EPSU is um, the thorough lecturing of our lecturers. They're very thorough with their lecturing. Um, the environment is also really nice. They have a lot of... Uh, plants and nature to take late Instagram pictures on it, so that's cute too. What I actually like about them is that this is one of the state universities that are very uh, serious with the academics. Um, they do all their best to meet up with the uh, academic calendar. Okay, um, what I like about Ebony State University, for starters, I don't think I've ever loved my school more. Like than the fact that we didn't go on strike. <laughs> mm, I, like, since we didn't go on strike, like, I just love my school. I wasn't expecting us to not go on strike, you know, because of ASU and all. We used to be on that ASU, but then strike came and we didn't participate. So I love my school for that. Our lectures are, our lecturers are very personal, like they're very personal. They're very intentional about their lectures. They don't joke like, but if you don't come to class, it annoys them as if you're their child. <laughs> so our lecturers are very serious. I think that's just it. Well, first and foremost, FC is a good school. The mode of our teaching, the way the lecturer communicates to the student is amazing. Even the cultural, um, cultural and social activity that is going on in school is amazing. So I appreciate FC based on that. Near the school. <laughs> <laughs> what I dislike about EPSU, first of all, remember I told you guys this is my state, so it's not be nice of me to say bad things about my state, but then I cannot hide the truth. First of all, the school fees for non indigenous is too much. I feel it's just too much. It's, that is the only thing I feel this school needs to work on. And most also the electricity and the damages in the school are too much. If you look around, everywhere is just one kind. Yes, yeah, so they need to work on that. What I dislike about EPSU is uh, the influence of the state. I mean, the urban uh, state government. They the influence the, the university 
in the way that it is actually getting out of hand and we are complaining. And uh, another thing that I don't like about it so is the, um, what is it called? This uh, exam, uh, general studies, GST, this is what we call GST. During GST period, people find it very, very difficult, clustering around and uh, all sort of that. What I dislike about the university is that a lot of the times they prioritize just on paying of school fees. They don't really take care of the lecturers enough. Um, they don't put their lecturers' interest first. They're all about, most times it looks like they're just chasing money and ensuring that we pay school fees, which is not good enough. And uh, also the surrounding, they have to do something about the surrounding. When it rains, the floors, they're so messy, the classroom, like some of the uh, new tables and chairs that they brought in have started coming apart because of the constant rain on it despite the fact that we're not like receiving lectures outside or lecturing in a, a classroom but rain keeps coming in through the windows and destroying things so i think the university should look into that the first student to pay bills that are that are not necessary to the academics like additional school fees per se, per, by per semester you know and uh, unnecessary departmental and faculty fees. What I dislike about EPSO, I think I dislike the fact that they impose a lot of deals on us. Like, they increase school fees out of the blue. They will tell you pay this one, pay that one, do this one, do that one, every single time. And nobody does anything about it. And also, I think our school hasn't been fair, like honestly. So, our school didn't go on strike and our lecturers have been teaching like every day they stick to the timetable and all. we're even about to start exams and still they have not paid them like and we are a state university for like we are a state university so i don't think it's fair our bus stop is very far from where students are laying why why do you have to walk you will walk you will, if you see where we come from every day you have lecture by nine they'll stop you there before you get here you, you came to school earlier mind you by the time you reach here you cannot enter class again it's too far why is it? they should bring it close or if they can't bring it close then let it be like a short suit a school short suit that will be dropping us we'll be paying the money when you reach bus stop a school short suit that will take you to your department it should be fine because the school is very wide, it's very big. It's actually like PEM site. I mean, PEM site is very big. So that's also that's another thing. Apart from that, I think they are trying. Like my school is though most of our buildings, especially in PEM site, they are still new, but some of them are still having some high school stuff. They are having problems and they need to work on it. Wait, you done the video already? Eh. Wait, hold, hold, no video yet. Hold. Ha! Everything that have good aspect and bad aspect. Well, first, that was. Uh, let me start from the um, what we paid for. We paid for medicals uh, about um, last semester. We paid it through the use of remitter. So after the payment, they said the remitter is no longer acceptable. That we should go and pay through the bank that they have the account number now. So this thing is just seems like we should just see that Apes is robbing her students. Like what the? F they are robbing their students. Even many things like. They pay for everything now. Everything is now money. If you even if you sit down the, in the class, you, you will pay. Anything <laughs> you do, you will pay. Omo, that one is a big thing that like affects the students. Hey, no ho. No more what see. No more what is that? I came to school when I was fat, but now I'm slim. Look at me. Oh my god, it's the one thing I hate. Whenever I eat, I don't know where the food is entering. <laughs> Omo, that is the that is the most that is the worst thing I hate. This school have really sucked my blood, like the bills, everything, every time payment, every time. Ah, ah, it's too much, I beg. That is one thing I hate about the school. Ah. How has EPSO impacted ever left? Well, first of all, there are always two sides of the coin. There's always the positive and the negative aspect of things. So, I'll start with the positive. How EPSO has impacted me? Well, I, like I said, this is my state. I didn't really grow up here, so I don't really know their culture, the language, or anything. So, me schooling here, school bringing me back here is giving me the opportunity to at least learn the language, understand my people. Yes, yeah, so that's the positive impact. And 
we're here for knowledge and I'm getting impacted so the negative impact is I feel that they need to reduce they need to cut down on their school fees payments especially for the non indigenous I feel it's too much and if they're able to cut it down at least yes and also they need to repair some things in the school you know give us electricity we need lights we need breeze we are doing us where we learn and stuff like that so yes in that aspect I think MC I'll open my eyes my, uh, since after my secondary school, uh, I've not had that opportunity to associate with friends, to speak in public, and uh, speak good grammar uh, and be able to write my feelings out. But since I've come to EPSU, at least any feelings I develop as a person, I can put it down. Then the, the way EPSU have imparted me wrongly, no, I don't think. I don't think, even though there are some things that are not uh, going uh, rightly in the institution, but I refuse to be imparted uh, wrongly. Apart from that, apart from not uh, being ashamed to speak my mind. I will definitely say that I'm not the same person I was when I came into the university. Um, you're meeting, I don't know if this is like essentially what um, the university is doing, but you're in a new environment, you're meeting new people, you're mixing with people from different backgrounds, um, your mind is becoming broad, you're seeing new things and experiencing new things, so yeah, I think that's how EPSO has impacted me. EPSO is a very nice school and it teaches most of the moral standard of life and also makes the student to be determined and focused in their academic. Then, from my perception or from my field of study, which is international history and international relations, EPSU have helped me in so many ways. Like when I came into the university, there are some certain history I cannot tell. But as time goes on, like presently I'm in 300 level and I can see the changes. EPSU has impacted my life a great deal. Like, hmm, you see me on the level. And the way I am now. <laughs> Glory be to God. <laughs> it has not been easy, but I've grown, I've learned, I can relate. I used to be like, I didn't used to socialize, but now, like, if like if this happened in year one, I would just tell her, no, please, I can't do it. But now, like, I'm outspoken, I'm more me, I'm a better me, actually. I love it. I love the fact that we don't stay in the hostels, like, we stay outside. So it's more like, gives you more independence and all that. Okay, well, how EPS have uh, made much impact in my life? Like um, my dictions, my choice of words when I'm speaking. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Mm, let me say, I've really learned a lot, Sha, like since my year one to 300 level now. Ah, come on. The way I do things now is all like before, like. I do this in a matured way, the way I talk, the way I handle things. Let me see. I've really learned a lot, Sha. Now, the breeze is just disturbing my hair. I'm done with everything I went to do in school, and I'm about to, you know, enter my room. Well, so this is the end of the video. If you're new here, please subscribe, share, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell another friend, subscribe to my channel. If you are old here, still tell a friend, tell another friend, tell another friend, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.